Welcome back 522 right now a woman in Brownsburg is running a farm that offers a unique take on yoga and Rachel you got to check this out we were talking about this last week quite a unique experience here. I haven't stopped talking about this place guys so her name is Lori Lovely and on the farm located on North County Road 950 East you'll find old barns dating back to the 1800s and a very modern take on yoga. You've probably heard of goat yoga but this is next level. Alpaca your bags because we are headed to Montrose Farms Alpaca Ranch in Brownsburg on this trip in your neighborhood. We found this farm. We love the property. It's just a very special place. Um, and then we said, okay, it's a farm, so we need to farm something. Ultimately, Lori Lovely decided she and her husband would farm alpacas. Not only are they crazy cute, but their fleece is considered a luxury fiber comparable to cashmere. One of the benefits of, of alpaca fleece is that it doesn't have lanolin like sheep's wool does. So if you've ever worn a wool sweater that's kind of scratchy, this won't be that way. Aside from using fleece to make products like scarves, blankets, socks, keychains, and even dryer balls and fleeced soaps, these alpacas have another purpose as the stars of alpaca yoga. Inhale, let's lift. Extend and exhale, lean to the left. Inspired by the goat yoga craze and taught by instructors from Indiana Yoga Studio, alpaca yoga has been a hit since Montrose Farms introduced it three years ago. I think the reason it's been so popular is they're just a really interesting animal. They're, they're peaceful, they're sweet. You can see they like to interact, they're curious. But if you're expecting a completely zen, totally focused yoga experience, you might want to look elsewhere. The yoga gets interrupted a lot <laughs> because people stop to take pictures or feed them as they come by. Whether you're headed to the farm for yoga or one of their other events, there's a few things to know ahead of your first alpaca experience. You know, to make sure you don't get spit on. Alpacas hate to be petted on the head, um, but they've got these nice long necks and backs. They're, they're great to be petted on. Other than that, we say they have a personality kind of like a cat. So the more you ignore them and, and lay back, the, the more interested they're going to be. While in Brownsburg, check out these other popular destinations. Thai District, Best Friends Coffee and Bagels, LMA's Boutique, and Rockstar Pizza. Guys, group activity, clearly. All right, Montrose Farms also hosts other events. They've also had wine tastings with alpacas, private parties, and even, yes, proposals. So if you want more info on Montrose Farms Alpaca Ranch, just head over to this story. It's posted right now on our website, cbs4indy.com, under the CBS4 This Morning tab. If Nick? there's anyone I'm waiting to hear and see, on alpaca yoga, it's you. Me? I I told I was telling Rachel this last week. I was like, I thought in the, like the point of yoga to be like calm. I was like, I don't know how calm I can be with like <laughs> alpaca. Look how cute they are. I it know. doesn't matter. Do it for the grand I know. Nick. No, you, you I would I would do good. it. No, I would do it. I, I think it's actually funny. because they actually do seem a lot calmer than I thought they'd be. They're yeah. just kind of strolling around. It's not like the goat yoga where the goats are like jumping on top yeah, of you. Yeah, no. <laughs> the, yeah, she even yes. said, you know, they're not going to yes. go climb on your back, yeah, you know, like it. like the goats do. Not that I would oppose that. I think that's cute, too. So. It's, not, it's not as aggressive as I thought it would be, so I'm all for it. <laughs> I've got to see this. I'm, down. I'm, I'm do just it. saying, I will team do it. outing before it gets too cold. I'm saying, let's do, yeah, let's do it. I'm do, we always say we're going to do stuff. We never do stuff together. I'm going to fall asleep. That's true. <laughs> we go home. We go to sleep at 10 a.m., yeah.